Hello guys, we are back with some more Hearthstone Arena as the also lovely warrior which we have managed to gain 6 wins with. This, uh, this very weapon heavy deck has worked out quite well for us. So, you might have tuned in just to the last episode of this arena run, we don't know. It might end through this game, or then it might go further. I don't know, no one knows. Um, really, no one knows. Um, yeah, it might end here, we might go further. Um, I'm actually quite happy to 6, six wins. Since this deck just, is just kind of weird, like overall it's just odd, but it, it, it works. So, there you go. Um, seven would definitely be nice. I mean, if you can get eight as as my... I mean, nine is nine is always my goal, since eight is my so far best. So nine is always going to be my goal. Until I hit nine, and then it's gonna be ten, and then it's gonna be eleven, and then it's gonna be twelve, and then it's gonna be twelve oh. So there you go. Um, yeah. But nine, if you can hit nine wins with this deck, which I highly doubt, but I guess I should believe. I, I, I would just really need to believe, I think. I think that's the key. I think that's the key. So I'm gonna be coining out the Fairy Dragon, most likely. Since mages really can't do anything to it. They can't hero power, they can't frostbolt, they can't do anything. They're just... They're, that's just it there. And since we have so many two drops anyway in our hand, and I don't think we need to rush the Arathi, especially now we got a weapon. Um, it's fine, we can coin out this without any, any harm done. So there we go. Um, what I don't know is that do I want to play the unstable ghoul while I have this out? I guess I do. Like, it doesn't kill it and um, I guess it's fine. Hmm. So she's really wondering, or Hattius or whatever the fuck you want to call this guy. He's really wondering, like real hard. Like real, real hard. But it's fine, it's okay. We can give the man time to wonder. Okay, I'm gonna play the ghoul. I don't think I have any reason not to play the ghoul. Since even if this guy goes to one health, um, this he can't use the hero power. He could like cone of cold or maybe arcane missiles. Um, arcane missiles would definitely be quite effective. But still, it's fine. Okay, that's also cool since we have the, um, the perfect answer. Since we have the perfect answer, we are gonna be more than happy to keep pushing forwards and dealing damage. Yeah, no. This is this is this is what I like about this deck. Like it's very important to keep the tempo. It's it's a control sort of tempo control deck. It's very weird. It's very odd. It really is. Well, the good thing is that it didn't hit any of that. Wow, he must be annoyed. Since if it would have even hit once this it the, the this guy would have killed it. But it didn't, so well it's really good for us. Nice. Very neato. So I think I'm gonna use the weapon charge and play the weapon smith. And this is what I mean. This is a tempo control deck. So we have a lot of weapons, we have a lot of removal, and we have a lot of armor. Um but the key is that we keep tempo, that we always do at least one damage a turn and we have something on the board. Um so you know, because for example, a freeze mage or yeah, freeze uh, a freeze mage. They don't like they don't care if they have board, because usually they don't. Most of the time, you, you don't have a board as a as a freeze mage. So it is kind of like yeah. Mm. So we can kill it easily. Just shield block, and I guess shield slam as well. And uh, we just want a weapon charge. And yeah, we are we're just pushing through like we have been so so far doing three damage every single turn to his face And that's what happens you then you're suddenly at 11 health on turn 5 and like this is not a like This is a rare circumstance on something like a zoo like it's very rare that you have done 20 damage to someone on turn 5 Or turn 6 on his end, but that's like really effective. So yeah, this is a cool deck I, I, I might build something like this on ladder. It might not work on ladder at all, but you know We'll have to see. Maybe I'll do something like that and do a video of it, showcasing if it's any good at all. Probably not. For the Lich King, we are very close to killing him. Did we actually kill him since we have the Argent Command? Let's see. That's what, 6 plus 6. Well, well played. <laughs> wow. Turn 6 kill with this deck. I can say that I'm only quite amazed. I'm, I'm quite amazed. That was... That was brutal. I mean, well, I guess... I guess we're seven two, and these games doesn't even don't even feel hard. Like that's that's a weird part. Like I shouldn't be this good of a player in Hearthstone. Like I really shouldn't. And and the guys I played against have about the same win loss ratio. 
or something like that. So it's very weird. It feels odd for me. If I can that easily win games on this rack. I don't know. Maybe I'm good. Maybe I'm bad. Probably bad. Um, but yeah. I don't know. It feels very weird that I would be this good in Arena. Especially Arena. Like in ranked I'm reasonable since I watch a lot of ranked like streams and videos and I use certain yeah. decks that a lot of people use. Well, not not too much. Zoo has been the only one actually I've used. Um, like like one of those decks that other people have built. Um, but yeah, I don't know. It's really weird. It's really odd. Um, I don't know. Maybe I'm good. I mean, I have a lot of experience in this game. I, I don't even want to know how much I've played this. Like, I, I guess Battle.net is, or Blizzard is smart that they don't actually showcase anywhere how much you have played a game since it would be probably quite brutal. Like, StarCraft, I have played a fucking ton of. I, I don't play that much anymore, but I used to play um, a lot. Like, a lot, a lot. Um, and Hearthstone has, has been a game I have played definitely huge amounts. So, there you go. Please don't coin out anything. Oh, shit. What is that? A fairy dragon? Well, I'm gonna be using the fiery warrocks to clear that, good sir. And we have our, we actually have our own fairy dragon in the hand. And it's cool. So yeah, you can kind of play this deck actually two ways. Like now we started in the more control way, we didn't play a minion, we cleared his board. And we hope that he just hero powers. Wonderful news, that's so lovely. Why are you so, why are you so kind to me? <laughs> um, what I'm wondering is, should I hit since I have the Arati? I, I don't think I need, hit, need to hit. We can push for more damage with the Dark Iron Dwarf, so it's actually fine. Or even cleave Bloodfen or something like that. Yeah, we have no need to um, use the weapon charge here. We could have, but... Um, yeah. This is this is like seriously Mage's Nightmare. You can't do anything about this. You just can't. There is nothing you can do. Absolutely nothing. Um, do I want to play this guy? Yeah, I think so. Uh, I guess it's fine. And just the face. Like, that's the problem, like, mage, they can't do anything. I guess they can pray for arcane missiles, but that just seems like pretty weak play. Yeah, it, it's really, it's really impressive how, like, this and especially the spectral knight, that's just, it's just brutal. You can't do anything as a mage. So, there you go. What is it, frostbolt? Okay. I'm fine with the frostbolt. Maybe top deck Acer Drake? Not white? Um, but I, I could do a lot of damage, right? I could just do an extra three, but I don't have any reason to. I think I'm gonna be now doing this since it has been long enough now. Yeah, it's nice, it's nice. Uh, we have a lot of stuff in our hand, we have a lot of answers, we have um, charge, we have a lot of... We just have everything, that's, that's what I really like about this deck, I guess. There's just everything. There's a bit of everything in this deck. This is a very weird deck, like, did he build some sort of freeze mage in, in, in arena? <laughs> You have many secrets, apparently. Please don't play a secret. Oh, that's wonderful. Thank you very much. So, yeah, we could just charge in with this dude, and I think it's reasonable. Since these are so good against the mage. Like, you know, I don't, I don't want to use this guy to clear one of one of those cards. This is just a nightmare for mage. They can't frostbolt. They can't do anything about it, so it's good. I want to keep it alive. As long as I can. So, we can... Um... We can just play stuff, or I mean, it was safe to play stuff that turn. Now it's not, but it was, since it's gonna be Flame Strike turn next turn. We don't obviously know if he has a Flame Strike. Um, so let's see, can we kill him? That's the real question. This would be, what, 4 damage plus um, 6 damage. That's 10. I could not quite. So. Do I Shield Slam that? I certainly could. I think I will. Um, so that might be a misplay since he might have a flame strike, but if he doesn't, he dies. And um, we have a lot of ways to win, even if he clears everything with a flame strike. Yeah, nice. That might be just game. That might be 8 2. Okay, he has flame strike. That's fine. I, I'm not complaining. We just need 3 damage. Any Anything, maybe, possibly. Not quite. But I'm happy to play that guy. I'm gonna hit the face. Ready, sir. Like this is the this is the brutality of the deck, right? Right? When usually you are at like a couple of health and we are like, oh we have 32 health, you know, casual just sitting here with 32 health and you have five, you know it's fine. So he needs to clear everything. Pretty much. 
otherwise he dies. Dies. That's that's nice. And we have damage. We have like um. Well, we don't have anything except for weapons, I don't think. But like, even if we get play this and get a fire war axe, well, he's dead. So <laughs> there you go. If he doesn't heal or play a taunt, that might be GG. Do you have a way to clear everything? Because that's what you need to do. Or freeze at least everything. Maybe not. I don't know. Okay, so far so good. Might be a frostbolt. Cone of cold. Okay. So he kills that guy's head. Oh, that's fine. Uh, oh, there is the key card. There is the key component. Oh my god. We actually drew that card. Wow. Uh, I'm just gonna draw something more. Okay. <laughs> okay, so we still had actually this guard. Uh, card, so yeah, you know what, it's fine. I'm not gonna play the axe, of course not. He might have a ooze or something. Like this, this by itself is seven damage next turn. If he can clear the board, which he has to do. Well, I mean, I guess not. He has to clear one minion because he doesn't know that we have some seven damage in our hand. So, you know, but I'm pretty positive that this is going to be an eight two so far, so good. And the nine two might be the, the dream might be alive. The dream might actually be alive. Oh wow, this is good. This is good. This is really good. Please don't play a taunt. No taunt. One time, maybe. Oh god, so good. So so good. So nice. Well played. Is the draw? Well played. Oh, nice. Cool. Wonderful. He even drew some more more damage. Okay, 8-2. Holy crap. How, how am I so good in arena? Someone explain. I shouldn't be getting these scores. Like, I should not. I don't know why I'm getting 8. This is the third time I'm getting 8 wins. Why? Someone explain, please. Please somebody explain this to me. Why am I getting this, this good um, scores in arena? Just please explain. Someone, I don't understand. I shouldn't be this good. But I guess I am. Ooh. So nice. So nice. It's really nice. We have... <laughs> This is ridiculous. Is this the fourth mage in in row? Is this actually happening? Is this actually the fourth fourth mage in row? What? This is really cool. And so far, <laughs> no fucking way. I think we have had the fairy dragon in every single game so far against mages. Oh my god, <laughs> this is ridiculous. <laughs> I was just I was about to say like should we just toss everything and hope we get a fairy dragon? But no, I guess just tossing one guard is enough. <laughs> this is ridiculous. This is absolutely brutal. Like, oh my god, four mages in a row, four fairy dragons, so far three wins. This is good. You feel- ah, oh, that's that's not nice, that's not nice. I'm just gonna coin out like what? A river croc maybe? Yeah, so that's fine. That's fine. He can kill it, but I'm actually happy if he uses this and the hero power to do so. I actually don't mind at all. Since then we can play the fairy dragon! <laughs> oh yes, oh yes baby. Here it comes! Here it comes, the fairy dragon! Oh, boom! Get out there, good sir. Thank you very much. Oh yes, that feels good. That just feels nice to play this against the mage. Oh. Oh man, I really should do like an anti-spell deck with just all these kind of like like fairy dragons and you know all the cool stuff. Yeah, I see no reason not to play this guy. Next time we can play the Arathi Weaponsmith. Yeah, sure, go ahead and have a shade. I don't mind. Have a shade, like yeah, have a shade. I, I'm actually wondering if he's going to. Okay, he uses. He gets gets it out of stealth. Okay. And a jungle panther. Oh, you are so sad you did that. I am so sorry, but that hurts. Wow, thank you for giving me that card. Or able ability to use the card. And especially on a stealth minion like that. Oh, that feels nice. Wow, that's nice. Wow. Just got dial. I mean, I'm fine with this. No problem, dude. No problem. Oh, a heroic strike even. Yeah. <laughs> We can just keep this guy like alive forever. I'm, I'm, I'm aiming to keep my fairy dragon alive through the whole game. It might be stupid, but I'm going to try that. <laughs> that is that is the dream. Because like as we can see, he has no way of getting rid of this. Um, arcane missiles you usually don't pick in arena, except if you don't, really don't have any other choice because it's not that good of a card. 
I mean, in certain decks, yes, but not, not, not in most of the decks. Um, what of those guys? Really? <laughs> Ew, really? So, mm, how do I want to do this? So I can kill. What could he have? I don't think he can have much. I'm just gonna do as much damage as we can now. I mean, he's already pretty low and we have like weapons. We have weapons for days with 6 damage and that's an extra 10. So we have 10 damage just in weapons in our hand. Um, plus all the cards we have on the board. Okay, polymorph on that. That's fine. So he can finally kill this guy. <laughs> oh my god, a secret. What is that? Every Wait, what? Okay. So... I don't know, should I clear? I think I should clear. Right? Like, I guess it might be a duplicate. Okay, it's not a duplicate. So, what do I want to give this guy if it's a mirror entity? I guess Silver Hand Knight is the best thing. Okay, it's not the mirror mirror thing. Oh, it is! Oh, it's, it procs that late. Late, huh? Interesting. Yeah, that's cool since, we, since he doesn't get the two things, so it's actually fine. Nice, we can play, we can play the Mountain Giant next turn, sadly. Would be very cool if we could. Oh, but we can't. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. No problem, dude. No problem, dude. Okay. Need. Fine. That's fine. Fine. Does it matter? I guess not. I don't know. And we can just play the Arati, which I think I'm gonna do. Although I could just... Uh, no, it just dies. I know I'm robber. No, I have no reason to play the wolf. Just just do that. And we can, if we want to play the mountain jet next turn, which seems very likely since we have pretty much removal for, for a lot of things. And also he used one polymorph, so what are the odds of him having another one? Well, I guess there are odds, but they must be quite small. Um, yeah. I think it's gonna be fine. A secret, you say. Oh shit, if that's a mirror entity. Could he have two mirror entities? Ah, oh, that's bad. Um, well, I guess we're gonna at least try what this is. Like, if it procs. Okay, it's a duplicate. Wonderful. Then, uh, Mountain Giant. Good to see you. Please don't have Polymorph. So, what did we give him back? The Silver Hand Knight. Okay, that's fine. I'm happy to give him a Silver Hand Knight. I mean, that's four minions that technically I gave him. Since he has to, you know... <laughs> you know, do a lot of stuff. Please don't have a Polymorph or a Freeze. Oh, is that a Vaporous? Could that be a Vaporous? Well, we can try it. We can test the Vaporous. No problem, since we have the Warzone Commander and Acer Drake. Okay. This is fine. We are very close to killing him. Um, oh, it might be an ice block, I guess. Ooh, a gore howl. That that feels naughty. Um, but we can't do it yet. I have to try out that it's not actually a, um, you know. Okay, it's a weapon press. Nice, 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 nice. That's so good. Oh yes, oh yes. That feels. Oh, we are actually quite low on health. Oops, I didn't know this. Um, so how much is that? That's. We can't win, right? No. Uh, we have, what, 10 damage? Oh, shit, are we actually one shot? Uh, it feels so bad. Um, if we had anything that we could charge. I wonder. Anything with one, even one attack. Uh, it feels so bad. Um, can we die? That's the question. He has, what, six? Fireball kills us. So I think I have to do that. As bad as it feels, I'm pretty sure I have to do that since a fireball would have killed us then there. And it's not unlikely that they have a fireball. <laughs> well, he might have another one. I mean. Oh wow. <laughs> that top deck though. Wow. So any charge, if it would have been the Gore Howl, any charge we could have won the game. That was very close. Well, there we go. Once again, an 8 3 arena. This is, this is starting to be a habit. I really want to break this curse of 8. This, this is becoming a curse for me. I guess it's a pretty good curse. <laughs> having 8 wins. But I want to go for... I want to get 9. That was really close though. 9 wins there was very close. Uh, a pack? 
106, so that's already a gold, a, a money for arena. That's 185 gold, and that's... Wow, we can... Wow, 225 gold plus, that's actually 325 gold. Wow, that's a lot. <laughs> so we just made a lot of money, ladies and gentlemen. We are, of course, gonna open the back pack. Um, hopefully get something good. I can't remember when I have gotten something else but just a one rare and five common or four common. So let's hope. Oh, an epic. Okay. Epic and rare. Wonderful. A <laughs> golden dust devil. That's something I've always wanted. A golden dust devil. Wonderful. A wisp. Sadly, it wasn't the golden wisp. <laughs> we'll now have two urge. What is the rare? <gasps> Kirin Tome is pretty bad. <gasps> oh my, why? I don't want a snake trap. No. Snake trap, get out of here. No, I don't want you. So I think that was a pretty nice... Yeah, only only what? Only one card we had. So a snake trap, I guess. Ah, pretty bad. And I think he's the second current Tomage. Yes, indeed. We got an uh, Earth Shock and a Dust Devil. Oh, we have, can actually uncraft that, I guess. And one of those. So oh, actually, we, we gained a lot of things we had. So is this gonna auto... No, it's actually not. Huh, that's stupid. That is stupid that it doesn't auto like destroy all the stupid things. So we can kill one of these guys. Disenchant, since we have the golden one. Fine. Okay. And we also had, what, a two dust devils? Yeah, we can disenchant one of those. Since we have the golden one now. Wonderful. Anyways, um, there we go. Once again, one arena run down. We already have enough money for the next one, and uh, we would have had almost, and we would have had, like, money from those as well. So we have a lot of money. Um, Anyway, guys, I'm probably going to start on your end run very soon after facing this one. So, yes, thanks for watching. Um, if you enjoyed, please drop a like, rating down below. It really helps, and I appreciate every single one of those. And if you're around here and you enjoyed what you saw, then maybe you would like to um, drop a or drop a subscribe. I know if you drop a subscribe, maybe you want to subscribe. It would be very helpful and appreciated. Uh, but, yeah, thanks for watching. And, as always, remember to stay awesome.